I was looking for four um, very different female dancers for this piece. The piece is inspired by the true stories of um, very different women. So I wasn't really looking for four people that looked alike, danced the same and expressed themselves in the same way. So um, I held auditions at um, Dance House last um, September, October to just look for you know, people that I thought might suit, suit the work. Um, and I'd also worked with one of the dancers previously and I had worked with two of the dancers in a research period last year. Um, so I kind of knew there's a few I was going to use anyway and then found um, uh, Yvonne and she's a German girl working out of London. I was looking for very, very physical females um, that were really up for throwing themselves around. But also I think in the piece it is, there is an element of dance theatre to it so I was looking for females that were able to you know, express and emote in a particular way. But on a physical level, I wanted very different body types. I wanted very different types of movers. Um, because I think, you know, when you see the same material on four different bodies that execute it in slightly different ways, um, you know, it, it bring, for me, it brings me back to that we're not all identical. We can approach things in a similar way, but we, we all have our own idiosyncrasies as to how we perform the movement. I think that comes across in, in the piece. So um, it's, you know, very, you know, four different people. I think maybe you may not identify with one particular character, but you may with another, so I think that was the goal, I think. It's four very different dancers um, in terms of the d dynamic and um, because none of us have worked together before as a group, um, we don't have a common movement language. So when we're learning each other's material, it's kind of, it, it can be a challenge to adapt it to your body or get it exactly together. It's a mixture between her giving uh, us material and our own material and uh, it's a nicer cooperation. Yeah, it's quite physical. It's also like there's four different bodies making different material, so I think that's a big challenge. Like some material doesn't really work on people's bodies, so you're trying to like, uh, yeah, just uh, find your way around it and uh, put it into your own body. Some of, the, some of the parts are, you know, the powerful, you know, like a uh, strong, fast part, uh, find it, you know, like, um, you know, like good, you know, like challenging. And some of the, the parts that we have to learn, for example, from other dancers, uh, because they have, you know, like their own idiosyncrasies, it's, uh, it's just a little bit, you know, like uh, harder to actually understand um, the movement and the tempo, etc. It, it comes to, again, the, the movement language, the tr trying to kind of adapt my own natural dynamic bring that kind of in line with the, the others in the group. But thankfully in a way as well, it's, it's good that Catherine wanted four very different, different bodies and dancers. So it's, you're allowed to be an individual within the group as well. So. Um, it was very intense initially uh, creating the material and, um, and now because it's more into like kind of running the piece, it's very, it's gotten even more physical. Um. So the piece will premiere at Project Art Centre in Dublin on the 4th and 5th of April and then we have um, we get in the car the next day and head to Cork and then we'll do a show there at the Furt and Crane and then we have a few days off and we'll, our last performance is at Sheep's Satira on the 11th of April so hopefully come see the show, it's, 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 uh, it's an exciting piece, it's, it's very very physical um, and uh, yes yeah, it's, it's a premiere of, of my new company um, in Dublin, so I'm delighted to share the work. So.